All right, everybody. So we do have Taurus uh, Sun Moon and as well a rising weekly career and business star reading February 10th to uh, February 16, 2020. And uh, in case any of you guys is interested in uh, your personal reading with me, you can uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a, a link to my website as well a link to your other video of the week, which is about a uh, love and relationships. So uh, that being said, moving into the spread straight away here, the first card, which is going to stand as the topic of your career and business uh, for the week, that is going to be the two of pentacles now followed by the next one here, which uh, represents the energies which are feeding up the topic that will be the queen of pentacles furthermore what we do have it is the challenges and that is to be the page of swords afterwards it is the gifts and the blessings in terms of business and career that you can enjoy here we do have the ace of pentacles that is going to be fantastic reading for you taurus and uh, our next one it is what kind of an impression you are making in front of your colleagues in front of your a uh, supervisor boss as well if you will that is to be the tree of pentacles and the last one here which is the guidance that tarot is uh, telling you that it is best for you to do that will be the seven of swords um uh okay so uh as we say a fantastic week uh so uh, let's move to the first couple of cards here which represents uh, the topic and the energies which are feeding up the topic so what those two cards really are pointing queen of pentacles and uh, two of pentacles is about a maximizing your profits it's really all about it's re really it is all about that so it's it's like making the most out of everything you're doing um business relationships you will or a, 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 a negotiations with your boss say or cooperations with your uh with your co-workers or in projects that you are currently performing the two of pentacles here points that you are going to be more agile as usual and therefore being able to extract even more than everybody have ex expected from you to do which uh, from another standpoint is going to make a, a solid solid impression as we can see here furthermore into the um, fifth card into the spread but we're going to take a look at it in a uh, couple of minutes so what is uh, uh, what is the characteristics of the week a very very busy week you are going to have a, a second look into your current projects into your current situations as well and that second look is going to be more focused upon I, the opportunities or the options available that have not been explored in the framework of those projects, in the framework of those relationships, you will, business relationship, uh, business relationships in the framework of the current negotiations. Because uh, this week is, is going to be all about you, Taurus, and what you can do for yourself and what you, how you can maximize, you know, the aces or to have a the maximum hand as it is dealt on the table here on the working table amongst everybody that is involved into those situations now this is going to uh in uh, to um involve you changing up positions and that is quite uh, quite understandable so you can expect to um, kind of like abandon some outdated concepts some outdated uh, standards if you will become more adaptable as well you know having a second look at a certain uh, um, performances that you have done and trying them once again so you can do them better so uh, it's like striving for perfection and that is going to bear a solid results into uh, into your business and career model moving forward into this week February 10th to February 16th and also these energies are going to make you more uh, how can I say it a self-absorbed in the sense of that all that is going to matter it is how you perform you will stop looking or glancing at your colleagues you will stop stop looking and glancing at your um at your competitors as well you will completely disregard their achievements and as well their um 
how can I say it? their progression and all that is going to matter to you it is your progression now additionally to that uh, you can expect that there are to be a bit of changes into your plans and these changes are going to be very positive changes because they are going to come from or their source is going to be from the unexplored opportunities so that will be those changes you are to accept as a openings as a windows um, yeah as a windows that you can jump into you know and um, once again aim maximize your benefits more money uh, more opportunities will move on forward a more leverage as well that you can play with moving forward into the future and etc etc so we are moving to the next one which is going to be the challenge here and that will be the uh, page of swords we do have a person that is working for you and it's quite insubordinate right but it is not as challenging as you think it is because the page of swords even though unsubordinate kind of person it could happen to be an unexpected source of help so that is going to be the challenge for you Taurus how you can make that unsubordinate unsubordinate person you know to be the um the link in the chain in the career chain that you are uh, moving forward with that it is gluing everything together okay so um, the way i see it here maybe from this person there will be an, a, a very extraordinary idea that by themselves they cannot do it but if you all work together you can actually execute it and it's going to be a, a fantastic you know um uh, it will bring you a fantastic results or that could be exactly the person although unsubordinate and doesn't really likes to do whatever you told them they could actually come to your help at a certain uh how can i say it at a certain stage into the project and save the day so the challenges the way i see them are two how you can make that person you know a um cost effective or how can i say to to make use of them although they're unsubordinate and as well uh it will be challenging for you to uh stand them around because you don't handle well on subordination do you i mean you are you are taurus after all and uh Another thing with this page, it is that uh, with these people, it is that they do have that, uh, how can I say it, uh, independable thought, okay? And uh, you don't have to be mad at them. Uh, it's because they are very easily swept by a fallacious information. For example, they are very prone to believe in fictions uh, and taking them as facts. So say that you ask, ask them to do something, but beforehand they have uh, read somewhere or heard some uh, from someone that that is the wrong thing to do. So it's kind of like this is where the insubordination comes from. And uh, if that's your case, it will be better if you kind of like try to be a little bit more elaborative and explain to them uh, the things scientifically okay so do not demand but rather explain them what you want to do and that subordination is not going to be there for long and our next one here it is the uh, gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy here that will be the ace of pentacles there is only one way how we can look at that card it is a, about a business success right business and monetary success it is all that it is into a business reading because it gives you the opportunity to follow and further your goal as well additionally to that as we do have a garden here as a gift and blessing the garden is a symbol of protection meaning that your place is sound and safe into the current company that you're working at your business is safe for a future for a uh, deterioration and you can use that a time of being saved of, of, of having invulnerability i would say to make some bold moves and to actually provoke a business success moving forward into the future so next one it is how people are going to actually see you and that will be three of pentacles um a few ways actually what kind of an impression you're going to give into people now first of all people are going to uh, see you as someone who is thirsty for knowledge okay someone who is thirsty to to, to, to take on challenges and as well as someone who needs a, a support through development as well and that is a, a very positive look 
uh, from your boss, for example, because your boss, this is how your boss is going to see you or what kind of impression you're going to give them. It is that if they have your back, there is actually nothing that you cannot handle, which makes you a very, very good asset. And also, uh, the, this card points that people are going to see you very open for cooperations and very open for a taking advice, taking guidance as well, which is going to make uh, those who are more a um, experienced than you are into the field that you are working at a more prone to approach you and to give you guidance and advice you know how you can make something right now for example i'm I, i'm watching um a master chef competition and it always baffles me when you know these master chefs are going um, into select few contender contenders and are helping them while living the other stranded so it's it's like that you are going to be the one whom your um supervisor or your boss comes around and it's kind of like whispering into your ears into your ear what is going to impress them and what is not going to impress them so you're going to feel like the chosen one if you will uh, that way and additionally uh, additionally to that people are going to see you uh, once again as someone who wants to try it is like someone who wants to try the oceans of opportunities that the career and the business is ready to unfold for them and as we saw here with the ace of of pentacles those opportunities is not are not going to be uh delayed at all so it does look like taurus that you have everything you need in order to make a um quite a way of skyrocketing into the business throughout this uh, throughout this week it all comes to that guys how adaptable you can be and how flexible are to a coming of a opportunities and revisiting your stuff acknowledging that you can do better it all comes to that and finally, we do have the guidance here that uh, Taro is offering to you. That will be the Seven of Swords. And I, it's all about, you know, how, um, how you are appreciated. Now, this card, unfortunately, kind of pains me to see it into that position because it points that uh, if you don't ask for your rewards, then uh, probably for your flawless performance and for, for your perfection here, the only thing you're going to get is probably petting you by the shoulder and probably a thank you. But thank you does not pay bills. Thanks, thank you does not feed stomach. All right. Thank you does not improve quality of life. So uh, for that reason, when you start feeling that you are underappreciated when you are not giving the uh, the right amount of salary let's say or you are under treated or kind of like mistreated here in in terms of what you are giving into your career you have to raise your voice about it and additionally to that this um, this particular card it kind of gives an idea of start thinking of your own thing it doesn't have to take place into that week you know but at least the idea of moving toward your own agenda or in this case opening your own business it has a, a, a soil or a prerequisite if you will to get, kind of be planted in your head so it, it is a pretty damn good time for you to start thinking of you know maybe at some point into the future you're going to start working for yourself and this week it, it will have a certain contribution into that so that being said sort of this was your weekly career and business star reading hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it guys and once again if you want to schedule a personal reading with me uh you can check out the description down below where you're going to find a link to my website from which you can purchase your personal reading and then we are get to schedule it and uh if you are interested into your into your love and relationship life there as well into the description are going to find a, a link to your other video. So hopefully we're going to see each other around and until then, bye.